Thanks, Mr. Johns. Welcome back to Railroads Online. And I think I have figured out the ultimate first run. However, my only concern is the number of cars and the weight. So this is what I would start off with if I could accomplish everything. Not everything. Half of everything that can be done in this game in one run. So if I can divide it into two runs, run one and run two, run one would include mostly the wood, uh, running from the log camp to the sawmill, to the smelter, to the iron ore mine, back to the smelter, and then up to the coal mine. And that would be everything at those locations um, with these cars. The second run would be more like, um, more like the steel pipes, the tools, the raw iron, crude oil. So we'll call that probably the oil run. Um, and this would be the lumber run in general. So the question is, can little Betsy pull this one off? Or should I try to replace Betsy with something a little bit more powerful? Up at the log camp, loading cordwood. The next step here is to run past the switch, throw the switch. I overshot it just a little bit, and then we'll head back up the hill to the log side and pick up a load or two of logs. Well, Betsy's not having the best luck um, up this hill, and this is just the first stop, so uh, I had to drop a couple cars down below, but she's still not really wanting to perform very well so this isn't going to be as easy as, as I thought and I don't have enough money to buy anything more powerful than Betsy at this point so I don't know if it's going to be a uh, a process of picking up just lumber and selling a bunch of it to raise funds I need $2,500 for the next uh, loco up from this um, just for a little bit more power but we'll see if we can get by if we can just be creative with how we move these cars around. All right, here we are down at the sawmill. We survived, um, barely, making it down from the log yard with Poor Betsy pulling all this weight. So this is a full load, the biggest I've ever had. So I've got a full load of cordwood. I've got two loads of beans. I've got an empty hopper and a load of lumber. So other than that hopper being empty, this train, this little train is full. Once you have the track laid, it's really not that far between places. At first it seemed so far, but here we are down in the smelter. All we really have to do is drop off, looking at my notes again, that's what's key here, uh, drop off cordwood and uh, we want to hold on to that. Oh, we can probably leave the flat car there too, so we don't need that. We don't, oh, let's, let's slow her down a little bit here. Break. We're heavy, I forget we're heavy. So I think luckily we have track that goes out the other side. Well, I can not run as fast as it. So there we go, now I can. It's slowing down. So uh, that cordwood needs to go, let's just double check. I'm pretty sure it's here. I should be able to see back there. Looks really close. So let's off and break. Come on, break. Now I just have to get that yellow arrow and tell it to unload. Oh, except for I was gonna get rid of that car. So I do need to um, drop that car and I can probably just, since it's the last car, there we go, it's counting wood, okay. Since it's the last car, ah, boy, I got lucky. I did not plan it that way. 
I need to remember that uh, or make a note on that. Um, that I mean, I could always re just rerail it, right? I mean, uh, here's literally here's here's what you can do. You can just G rerail, point at it, make sure it says flat car, put it on the other track, um, make sure the brakes on so it's not gonna roll away, boop, and you're good. I'm not going to use that track. Nope. And so now I'm, that was it. So I uh, kind of hate it, hate to do it that way, but it is, it's efficient. I, I, I could leave it on the track back there. Um, but, um, okay. So let's, we are going to make our way up to the iron ore mine. Here's where we find out whether old Betsy can handle two loads of beans, one empty hopper, and one load of lumber at 100% full steam ahead. All brakes off, I hope. Let's hope, because you got one chance at momentum, or you have to back all the way back down. She's going backwards now. Oh, I don't think she can do it. No brakes on? I was hoping there'd be one brake on. Just some... Yeah, we're going backwards. Our first attempt here, we will just leave one bean car because if Betsy can pull an empty hopper and a bean car, which it seems to be doing, there's no reason to not take the hopper up there. And I can leave the hopper at the iron ore mine where it will be filled eventually. And then I can come back for the other, uh, well, I'm taking the lumber. These are lumber, not beans. I can take the lumber. They, it needs lumber and beans. So I'll just have to come back. It's not, not the end of the world. It's just two trips. Until I can afford a more powerful engine, um, just know that it's gonna take, it's gonna take a couple trips between the smelter and the iron ore mine. Uh, so running ahead of the train, just a little bit here. Uh, to switch, make sure I don't go to the coal mine. To the left is coal mine, to the right is iron ore mine, and so that's super important that we end up going in the right place. A little frustrated as I make this climb to the iron ore mine because it seems to be doing just fine, and I am not full power. Doing just fine. I think I was just getting up from the smelter up the trestle. I just couldn't handle that grade. I'm not there yet, so I shouldn't speak too soon. And in some cases, maybe I should. Oh, I am 100%. So maybe I shouldn't speak too soon. I still may have to drop another car, so we'll see. All right, we are coming in. So let's start slowing down a bit. Neutral first, and looks like I'm coming pretty fast. So let's put that brake on. Uh, so I just need to get the arrow and then hit enter, and then put the lumber there, and the number should go up. Sure enough. Okay. So empty car of lumber that I need to back. So I've never loaded iron ore before. Should be good. Oh, that was really close. Let's just see what happens. I haven't done this before. Let's go and drop some iron ore in there. It's, uh, all right, yeah, I just kind of want to see what it looks like. And those numbers should go down to zero. I don't know how much I can load, but okay, yeah, yeah, this is gonna go up. I mean, I could probably load this one too. It's kind of cool how that works. Once that's down, it opens up the that little opening there and it slides right in. I assume it'll just go until it's full, which it looks like it is. So let's go ahead and raise that back up. It still is gonna be two runs likely with Betsy to get to this point. But things are looking good. So we're heading back to the smelter. All right, so we are back in the smelter. We have delivered the iron ore. We are now coming around the corner just a little bit too fast. 
Come on now. Let's go. Slow you down a little bit. Alright, first loading of raw iron. Then we will need to load up some rails. Looks like I accidentally put some raw some uh, I may have to I'm not sure if I could mix mix materials. I'm kinda guessing no. So I'm thinking I can probably yeah, if I get that yellow arrow and just dump the rail. Just dump that. All right, so loaded with beams, loaded with, not beams, loaded with rails. Oh, I'm going too fast. I'm going to crash again. Rails and raw iron. This is a better corner, but I'm way too fast. Come on, man. I am surprised I did not... Uh, derail. Luckily, I rebuilt that corner, made it smoother, and survived just about full speed around there. So, uh, we have to take this load up to the coal mine. All right, heading up and out to the coal mine. The big question is can Betsy do it? I've got two empty cars, one of them I need. It's going to be another no bueno. Same as before. In fact, yeah. Nope. No, no go in here. And I need the, I don't want to do two separate loads for these guys. And I need the hopper for the coal. I don't need this car, but I don't think that's going to be enough weight difference. Man, let's go ahead and release those. Send them on down the track. Release that one. Send it down the track. Oh, so frustrating. So I'm going to go get the two full cars. There's just no way that Betsy can do this kind of thing in one trip. Finally, we are loaded up with a cart of rails, taking it to the coal mine. The hopper is there waiting for me. Oh, the whole puzzle, well, half the puzzle is almost put together. Here we are bringing the rails into the coal mine. Kind of at the top of the mountain, although it really isn't. It's about halfway up the mountain, but it sure feels like it. I'm going to pull in, drop the rails, pick up some coal, head out of, t out of here. There's my favorite trussle. It's kind of half in the stone, half out. The order of things coming in here is going to matter. Mm, I put the, I re-railed the uh, hopper, which I don't see. There, yeah, it is. It's, it's in the shadow, the end of the track there. And I just need to drop rails at the other, should be enough room, just at the other side of the coal chute. It's that second dock. This first dock is for beams, and there's three sitting on the dock. And on this side, there are zero rails. So we want to unload. Come on. Give me the arrow again. Arrow. Unload. Oh, look at this. So what I really want to see happen here is that number go up. Uh, the coal mine has rails. Ah, oh, yes. Look at that, that doesn't take long at all. So I've got 10, the beams dropped to one. I think it used all the, all the, no, there's still four rails. So, but it only made 10 coal, so maybe that's all I could make. Oh, 
break, break off, speed off, break on. Okay, yeah. All right, let's do it. I gotta reach that. Down. There we go. I can't really climb. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, good. Let's see how we do here. Let's see if I can fit all of it in. Roll both shoots down. Watch the level go up. So there were 10. Let's see how much fits in one hopper. I think I can fit all 10. Looks really close. Yep, sure enough. 10 is a full cart. So I couldn't have done more than that anyway. So we're going to be a little heavy going down. Um, but I'm going to end it here because delivering this coal is part of round two, run two. Uh, but for now, finally, whoo, for run one for Railroads Online, Mr. Johns is out.